Sam. I'm upstairs. Uh, last night took longer than I expected. We meet again. I am thrilled that Sam took the job as the host of the Expanded Everyday Heroes. I hope you are, too. This is the place, ladies. Come on. All right, let's see. Let's put the clothes right over there. Thank you, Kimberly. All right, go on ahead, make up. Try to see if you can find the best light you can. Today, we transform Sam McCall into the next big thing. We are starting the launch for you as the new host of the expanded version of Everyday Heroes. That means a new look for you and the show. We're designing all new main titles. Two versions, either How to Be an Everyday Hero or a training manual for Everyday Heroes. Do you have a preference? Not really. Well, I'm leaning towards How to Be, but we'll have to see how it tests. Uh, in the meantime, we would love to get some footage here. You two make such a striking couple, and a live at home segment would be a great start. Okay, Hanson. A little liner on this ass. Whoa! Pop -like. No, don't even think about it. doesn't want any part of this. This is a visual medium. We have an image to sell. And that image is me, not Jason, not my private life. There will be no pictures in this house of anyone except for me. If I see any anything on the internet, any footage, anything connecting Jason to everyday heroes, I walk. Are we clear? Like it or not, Sam, the audience is always interested in the man behind the woman. Uh, Sam said no, and I agree with her. I really don't like cameras, so please just leave me out of this. I'm going to take off. I'm so sorry. This is so no, no, it's okay. I want to just you know, have fun with your new job. Oh, my place don't have one. Well, if you get too obnoxious, just climb out the window again. Okay? Stop it. <laughs> You've had your first official diva moment. Oh, ew. Does that mean I'm fired? Well, ah, nice try, but it's a little late to back out. I've got you right where I want you. Most relieved greetings. Stone Cold Cut. I was afraid you were Mr. Corinthos, sir, and he'd do the, uh, uh thing. Why, why, are you, why are you sitting at Sonny's desk? Well, I, I need, um, total privacy for this most crucial cyber maneuver. What are you talking about? The, uh, the proof? The, the paternity test that proved that, you know, you and not Lucky Spencer are the father of Elizabeth Weber's baby? You, you, you said you wanted it to vanish, you right? You didn't delete the test when I told you to delete the but, test? No, we were, you know, we were still debating it. You know, when, when, when Sam interrupted and I, I wanted to wait. Just in case you might have changed your mind. Delete it. Yeah, I mean, the records are just, you know, kind of a, a technicality anyway. I mean, if you if you did want to come forward, I'm sure Elizabeth would just admit that the baby Delete is Delete the yours. test, Spinelli. Jackal guarantees that all traces to your impending fatherhood have been obliterated. Okay, that's good. Hey, I... You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, hey, look, um... You know, I'm, I'm still on the hospital mainframe. If, if you know, if, if if we could maybe pull down some of Elizabeth's checkups, or maybe even find some ultrasound footage of the baby, you could see a picture of a little Stone Cold. No. no. Are you sure? You know, because sometimes he, you know, you can actually see on the ultrasound footage if it's if it's a boy or a girl. You know? <laughs> wow. What would you even call it if it was a girl? You know? I mean, not little Stone Cold, obviously, but I mean maybe um. Uh, you know, the, the awesome one, or, or the miraculous one, or, or, uh, Lulu? Lulu? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful name, don't you think? 
I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to name my baby, so I don't even know really why we're even talking about this, Spinelli. You, you could. I know that you're trying to help me, but you can't. Okay, I chose to be with Elizabeth and we made a child. And now she asked me to give up that child and I agreed and I'm not sure how that's going to work, how I'm going to live with that. Of course I want to see a picture, I want to know if my baby's going to be a boy or a girl, but the more I feel connected to the baby, the harder it is for me to stay away from the baby. Okay, so just leave it alone for now, please. That's it, baby. That's all I can do. Mind if I swing him? Yeah. Uh, no, that'd be great. Thanks. Hey, bud, what's up? Uh, Hold on, okay? Hold on. Is this okay? You want to go higher? You do? Okay, hold on tight. Over there with you, okay? Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, Cameron used to get so upset when, um, when Lucky and I would fight. And she um, would see me crying because I didn't want him to think that something was wrong. But... Well, is something wrong? I guess I could blame it on my hormones. But just seeing with him. I mean, you're such a natural father, and you have every right to know this child and to, to think what you're giving up. I, I... This is what you wanted, right? Are you going to change your mind? Mm. Lucky and I just got remarried. We're mm. happy. Babies pick up on all kinds of emotions. I can't make sense of feelings. I don't want my child going up with a mother who's sad all the time. If you, if you can't handle this, let's just, let's just tell the truth. I'm sorry, but sometimes people cry. It doesn't mean everything's falling apart, okay? I'm sure I made the right choice. And I am so grateful that you're allowing Lucky to be this baby's father. Just trying to figure out the right thing to do. And I promised that I would give our child a loving and happy home. And that's what I'm going to do. Hey. Sam, I'm back. Hey. I'm so sorry hey. about the chaos earlier. Uh, it's okay. I just, I, I don't want any of this to interfere with our life, and, and I want to make sure that you are okay yeah, with all of this. I'm just a little tired. And I'm really this. sorry about all those people barging in like that. It's okay. Look, I'm, I'm just happy you're excited. That's all. Okay. Well, it's going to be really weird, I can tell you, being a product. What, what do you mean? Well, that's what Amelia called it. She said that she's got to sell the product to me and to the show. <laughs> so are you sure you can handle living with a product? Uh, I think I'll be able to manage that. Oh, good. Get rid of them. Please. Please. Is Sam around? 